Okay, so this problem says the Newville Wastewater Treatment Plant discharges 17,360 meters cubed per day of treated wastewater into Fox Creek. The treated wastewater has a BOD5 of 12 milligrams per liter and a K sub L of 0.12 per day at 20 degrees C. Fox Creek has a flow rate of 0.43 meters cubed per second and an ultimate BOD of 5.0 milligrams per liter. The DO of the river is 6.5 milligrams per liter, and the DO of the wastewater is 1 milligram per liter. The average river velocity is 0.3 meters per second. The deoxygenation rate constant is uh, 0.12 per day, and the reaeration rate constant is 0.0604 per day. The stream temperature and wastewater temperature are both 20 degrees C. Part A says compute the DO and initial ultimate BOD after mixing. So both the wastewater and the river have some amount of dissolved oxygen as well as some amount of BOD and they're going to mix together and we need to calculate what's left after mixing. So we're going to draw a little sketch here. Here's the river and here is the wastewater treatment plant discharging into the river. We've got 0 0.43 meters cubed per second here, and we've got 17,360 meters cubed per day here. The BOD5 is 12 milligrams per liter, and the DO is 1.0 milligrams per liter. Over here, stream has an ultimate BOD of 5 and a DO of 6.5 okay so when these two mix here we can kind of picture this as a mass balance where we've got the stream coming in the wastewater treatment plant coming in stream coming out and we're doing a mass balance around the red box. And what we're going to wind up with, since this is assumed to be steady state, is that m dot in equals m dot out. So when we uh, replace these mass flow rates with the flow rate times the concentration, we have that the flow upstream times the DO upstream, so let's do a mass balance on dissolved oxygen first, plus the plant flow times the DO from a plant, these are the two inputs into that red box, equals the downstream flow times the downstream dissolved oxygen. That's what's going out. Okay? We also know that <clears throat> if we do a mass balance on the water, that the flow upstream plus the flow from the plant is equal to the flow downstream. Okay? So here, um, we need to do a little convert unit conversion since we have meters cubed per day and meters cubed per second. So we can convert our 17,360 meters cubed per day divided by 86,400 seconds per day. And we get 0 0.20 meters cubed per second. So, our mass balance on water, our flow upstream is 0 0.43 meters cubed per second. Add to that the plant flow, and we get 0 0.63 meters cubed per second. Now we go back to <coughs> this equation right here, and we're going to plug in what we know and solve for what we need. So we do that, and we get... <coughs> What we're looking for is the DO downstream, so we're going to put DO downstream equals, and now we've got this whole side divided by Q downstream. So we've got 0 0.43 is flow upstream times 6.5 DO upstream plus 0 0.20 plant flow times 1 plant DO divided by downstream flow, which we just said was 0 0.63, and we get 4.75 milligrams per liter. This is part of part A, 
where we've just computed the DO after mixing. The other part of this says compute the initial ultimate BOD after mixing. We're going to use the same basic equation. We're just going to plug in BOD instead of DO in the mixing calculation. So we're going to take this equation over here and we're going to rewrite it, but here we're going to say BOD ultimate downstream is equal to flow upstream times ultimate BOD uh, upstream, which was 5, plus <coughs> the plant flow, 0 0.2, times the ultimate BOD of the plant. Now, we don't have this yet. In the problem, we're given the BOD 5, which is right here, 12 milligrams per liter, but we're not given the initial ultimate BOD. So we're going to need to do another calculation before we get that number. So we'll finish this by putting the 0 0.63 on the bottom, and now we need the BOD5. Well, I can go to my equation sheet here, and I can find that what I'm looking for here, I want BOD ultimate of the plant, which BOD ultimate is L sub 0. That is going to be equal to Y sub 5. This is the BOD5. Y5 equals BOD5. They're the same thing. BOD exerted after 5 days. 1 minus E to the negative KL5. So that's going to equal 12 milligrams per liter over 1 minus E to the negative 0 0.12 times 5 days and I get 26.6 .6 milligrams per liter okay that has to go up there so you plug that guy in and we find that the BOD ultimate downstream is equal to 11.85 milligrams per liter. Okay, so we've got part A done. We've computed the DO and the initial ultimate BOD after mixing. Okay, on to part B, where it says compute the initial deficit after mixing. Um, I should mention here that I forgot to put in the problem description that the we're going to assume that DO sat is 12 milligrams per liter. I meant to add that before I started the video and I forgot. So there is uh, our assumption that DO sat is 12 milligrams per liter. The initial deficit says um, that D sub zero is equal to DO sat minus DO actual. And so this part's easy. DO sat, we just said it was 12. Subtract our actual DO, which we calculated up here was 4.75 milligrams per liter. And we get 7.25 milligrams per liter. Okay, on to part C. Determine the critical DO and distance downstream at which it occurs. So I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and move it up so we have a little more space here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to need to calculate the critical deficit in order to get the critical DO. And then to get the distance, I need the time, the critical time, so I can calculate the critical distance using the velocity. Um, you'll see if you look at your equations that the equation for the critical DO requires a time. And so we need to calculate the critical time first. So our equation is going to be T crit equals 1 over K2 minus K1 times natural log k2 over k1 times 1 minus 
initial deficit times k2 minus k1 divided by k1 times L0. Okay, so we start plugging in and we have 1 over 0 0.0604 minus 0 0.12 times natural log of 0 0.0604 over 0 0.12 times 1 minus initial deficit, which was 7.25 times 0 0.0604 minus 0 0.12 all over 0 0.12 times L sub 0, which is the um, initial ultimate BOD after mixing. We calculated then part A as 11.85. And we get from that 7.07 days. Now to calculate the critical DO, I'm going to use the equation. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make this a little smaller and move it up. I'm going to use the equation that um, says D sub T equals K1 L0 over k2 minus k1 times e to the negative k1t minus e to the negative k2t plus d0 times e to the negative k2t. Start plugging in. We have 0 0.12 times 11.85, my initial ultimate BOD, divided by 0 0.0604 minus 0 0.12 times e to the negative 0 0.12, 7.07 minus e to the negative 0 0.0604, 7.07. plus 7.25, my initial deficit, times e to the negative 0 0.0604 times 7.07. .07. Calculate that out, and I get 10.08 milligrams per liter. Okay, so now I have my time to the critical point and I have my critical deficit, but the question asks, what is the critical DO and the distance downstream at which it occurs? And so in order to calculate that, I need to take on this one, my critical DO is gonna be DO sat minus D sub T, which I just calculated, 12 minus 10.08, 1.92 milligrams per liter. And the critical distance, I'm just going to say my distance is my critical time, 7.07 .07 days times my velocity, 0 0.3 meters per second from the problem description multiply that by 86,400 seconds per day. The day cancels, the seconds cancel, and I get 183,000 meters, or about 183 kilometers. Long way. Okay. So that concludes part C.